One, two, and one, two, three. checking out the lesson here for Worried Man Blues in the key of G. We're gonna start breaking down that first arrangement right now, we'll bring the camera on in, put the tabs up on the screen. If you'd like to access the full length version, plus download the tabs and the audio tracks, click the link in the description below. Also, if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's go for it, thanks for watching. All right, so let's go ahead and start breaking down this first arrangement here for Worried Man Blues in the key of G. I'm gonna put the tabs up on the screen for you here. And uh, as you notice, um, you know, the pick directions below the staff, um, the staples are the downstrokes and the Vs are the upstrokes. You're gonna wanna play close attention to those for executing this arrangement. We're playing this first arrangement uh, largely kind of in the car style, very basic melody. So it's gonna be a lot of quarter notes and strumming. There'll be a few little eighth note runs more towards the end of this arrangement. But uh, yes, very straight ahead beginner arrangement here. Starts on beat four. Those first three little markings are quarter note rests. And um, it's gonna start like, so I'll play the first three measures for you. One, two, three. <laughs> straight ahead. So again, starting on beat four with the open D string. And then going into measure two, we're gonna play that open D again. And then we're gonna strum, as you see the bottom three, highest three sounding strings of the chord. I'm gonna play G like this, not necessarily the full G. You could, it'd be totally fine, but I'm gonna finger the G like this. And you know, I'm only strumming those G, B, and E, but I am fingering the whole chord just in case I, you know, miss or hit more strings than that. And then uh, we have four eighth notes in a row here. So it's uh, D string twice, open that is, and then two on the D and then pull. So three and four and, and as you notice, there's no pick direction below the pull off or the note I'm pulling off to. And that's because, you know, ham rounds or pull offs will often take the place of a pick direction. Okay. So if you've seen some of my videos, you probably know this or heard me talk about this. But if you're brand new, um, again, ham rounds and pull offs take the place of the pick direction. And if the ham rounds or pull offs give you trouble, you can always put the correct pick direction into place here so you can have an upstroke instead of a pull off. And that totally works. <laughs> as opposed to, you know, the ham rounds pull off from a little bit more smooth, give a little more sauce, a little more, you know, creativity, if you will. But totally, you know, picking the notes can work as well. Down picks on down beats, up picks on up beats, okay? But let's keep on moving here. So, so measure three, we play open G, strum, open G. Pretty basic there. So all three of those measures put together in context. One, two, three. A little quicker. One, two, three. All right, moving forward. Measures four, five, and six. They sound like this. Two, three, four. Again, ready, go. Okay, so measure four, we've got some double stops there and they're very common. We use them all the time in bluegrass and acoustic guitar all the time. And it's gonna be three on the B with the first finger, 
four on the G with the second finger. And I am gonna slide into those. It's gonna be kind of a quick slide. I know it's not marked there, but you can start down here or you can start maybe just one fret below and slide in. And you kind of pick and slide at the exact same time. One, you know, it's a quarter note to start. One, and then we're gonna strum them. Two and three and. And that's what the tricky part is, is just being able to strum those double stops kind of just filling space in, but I want to be, you know, very accurate with just strumming those two strings. One, two, and three, and. Then I go down to the second fret. Okay, second fret G. And then the next measure, open G, strum. Third fret D string with the third finger, strum. And that is an F natural, and that gives us kind of a G7 chord, and that signals to everyone, the listener and the band perhaps, that we're going to the four chord, all right? Whoops. measure zero to hammer on the D and then we finger our C chord and strum it so one and two and, and then open G second fret D so I put all three of those together do ready go If I put all six of those measures together, starting at the top, get the first phrase here. One, two, three. I missed my uh, F note there. I missed the G7 chord, but that's all right. Still kept on going. Last time, and then we'll move on. One, two, three. So let's move on to measures seven, eight, and nine now. We're still over the C chord. And uh, yeah, they sound like this. Two, ready, go. And then the phrase kind of starts over. So we kind of have the first sentence there. And then in measure nine, that is, it kind of starts over. So in measure seven, we play the open G. We're still fingering our C chord. And then we're gonna strum here. Two and three and. So pretty simple. One, two, and three and. And then an open G on beat four. One, two, and three, and four. And measure eight, play that open G again. And then we strum down on the chord. And on the way up though, we're only gonna hit the second fret G. So I have to move my second finger to the second fret of the G string. And it's a little tricky spot. One, two. But the melody line totally sits there. One, two, and. So it's strumming down on the chord and then up on just one string. That'll be a nice little challenge for you. And then open G, second fret D kind of outlining the chord a little bit again. And then the next measure, open D, finger the G chord. Two and three and, and then open D on beat four. So, do that again, those three measures. Two, ready, go. So again, measure eight, it's kind of, you've got to be ready for that little spot, right? One, two, and three, four. <laughs> uh, it's just 
starting to remind me of another tune right now. But the melody is there for the Worried Man Blues. <laughs> over the next phrase kind of the next sentence if you will 